The second concept is what we call the Acres of Diamonds concept. And the Acres of Diamonds concept comes from an essay and a speech written by a man named Russell Conwell around the turn of the century. The speech was so effective that he was ultimately asked to give it over 5,000 times, and it told the story of an old African farmer who had done extremely well in life, and one day he became very excited in hearing about people who had gone off into Africa and discovered diamond mines and become fabulously wealthy. So he sold his farm and decided to go off into Africa and to crown his life by finding a diamond mine and becoming fabulously wealthy. And so he wandered the vast African continent for 10, 12, 13 years, and finally broke, alone, sick, tired, and exhausted, he threw himself into the ocean and drowned. Meanwhile, back on his farm, the new farmer one day was out watering a mule in a stream that cut across the farm. And he found a rock that threw off light in a remarkable fashion. It was later found to be a diamond of inestimable value. And the person who identified it as a diamond asked the farmer to take him back out and show him where he had found it. And he took him back out to the place where he had been watering the mule, and they found another. And lo, they found another, and another, and another. And then they found that the whole farm was literally covered with acres of diamonds. The old farmer had gone off seeking diamonds somewhere else without ever looking under his own feet. And the moral of the story is that the reason the farmer went off looking for diamonds somewhere else is that he did not realize that diamonds didn't look like diamonds in their rough form. That diamonds in their rough form just simply look like rough rocks, burnt fragments and charred remnants of coal. And that a diamond, in order to become a diamond, must be cut and shaped and polished and set in order to bring out its very best value. And that our major opportunities in life also come to us like rough diamonds. They say the reason why people miss their major opportunities when they come is they usually come disguised in work clothes or disguised as hard work. And that our major opportunities to achieve everything that we want to accomplish usually lie right under our own feet, not only in our own talents and abilities, but in our own industry, our own education, our own interests, our own background, our own connections, our own contacts, our own communities. Everything we want, everything that we could ever hope for, the realization of all of our ambitions is probably very, very close at hand, but it does not look like a diamond in its rough form. It will require work and planning and preparation and effort. It will require actually getting down in there with our hands and turn it into something worthwhile. So when you begin to set goals for yourself, don't think that you have to travel across the country or change industries or go back to school for five years to get a degree. Look right where you are and start right where you are, and in most cases, that's where you'll find your acres of diamonds, too.